Hello all, welcome to part 11 of TestNG training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate parameters in TestNG. So let's get started. So what are these parameters in TestNG? Using the parameters in TestNG, we can pass values from the testng.xml file, okay? If you want to pass anything to testng test methods from testng.xml file, we have to use parameters, okay? In the testng XML file, we'll, we'll actually add a parameter tag containing the name and value, okay? So that name we can use in the testng test methods. Though it sounds theoretical at this point of time, but I'm going to demonstrate this practically now. So you'll understand what exactly are parameters and uh, how we have to use these parameters uh, in testng so that you can pass the values from the testng.xml file to the at the rate test annotated test methods, okay? So this is what you have to do in the testng.xml file. Okay, these are the steps, okay? Either at the suit level or test level, you can try the test level guys. Okay, I'll explain at the suit level. So here I'll open the Eclipse ID guys. Okay, here already we have a sample uh, automation test. Okay, this is a test, right? There's a normal method and which has at the rate test annotation provided. So it becomes a test engine test method. Okay, it will run. If you want to run, it can run guys. Okay, so it will run guys, it will run. But here we have hard coded the URL here. Okay, the URL is hard coded. So I don't want to hard code the URL here. So what I want to do is, I want to pass this URL value from the testng.xml file to this test method. That's what is my requirement. So I'll open the testng.xml file. So either at the suit level, that is directly under the suit, we can provide the parameter, or if you have multiple tests here, here only one test is there. Okay, if you have multiple test stacks like this, okay, for example, I'll, if I copy paste like this, test one, test two, test three, like this, multiple are there. Under the test also, you can create the parameter. Okay, you can try the test level, guys. Okay, so if you if you provide the parameter and pass the parameters uh, from the test level, only the methods which are included in that particular test tax, only those methods, these parameters can be parameter values can be passed. Okay, not for the other test methods. But what if I create this uh, parameter tag here at the, uh, directly under suit level? It will be applicable for all the tests here. Okay, it will be applicable for all the tests here. Parameter parameter uh, name is equal to double quotes. I'll give the name as, for example, I'll give the name as URL guys and uh, value as, I'll give this application URL value. I'll remove this application URL value from here guys. Okay, I'll remove this application URL from here and paste it here, okay? And give the value here and uh, I'll self close the tag. You see, this is one of the only one parameter like this. You can create any number of parameters inside this testng.xml file. Okay, you can pass any number of parameter values to the test methods from this testng.xml file. And that too, this parameter tag is directly created under suit tag and outside the test test tag. That means it can be accessible by all these test tags. Okay, all the methods included in the test tags. For now, we will not have all these additional test tags, but uh, just for reference, I have taken that. Okay. So at the suit level, if I am creating this parameter means all the tests which are there in the suit tag and all the test methods which are there in the test tags of this suit uh, will be able to access this uh, parameter value with the help of the parameter name. Okay, so first I created a parameter here guys. Now I'll go to the login.java. What I'm going to do here is on the top of at the rate test, I'll add something known as parameters. Okay, annotation. On the top of at the rate test annotation, another annotation from test engine known as at the rate parameters. We have to add this from test ng. You don't select BUEST, okay? Uh, select test ng, okay? Test ng. And here, provide circular brackets. And in this, you provide double quotes. You provide the name of the parameter. What is the name of the parameter given here? URL, okay? So to this test method, that value of this URL parameter from the test ng XML file will be passed, okay? Where we have to capture the value that is received to this particular test method uh, using the parameter. Here we have to access spring. Either you can say URL or URL, okay? Uh, you can, uh, it, it's not compulsory that this parameter name should be same as a parameter uh, name here, okay? Inside parameters, this should match whatever that is there in the testng.xml file, but this can be anything guys. You can, even I can give Arun also, not a problem, it will take, okay? So for now I'm giving capital URL here, small URL is there. This value of this parameter will be assigned to this, uh, this parameter spring URL parameter and this URL I'm going to use here guys in the get method. That's it. Okay. 
Now, what I have to run to pass the parameter value from the testng.xml file to this test method. If I directly run the test method, it will not work, guys. Okay, it will not connect the testng.xml file and it will not take the parameter value. Rather, I have to run the testng.xml file in which this particular test method is included. Verify user login with valid credentials. Verify user login with valid credentials. This method is included, right? So this test method will be called, and also when it is called, this parameter will be passed to the test method. So you have to run using the testng.xml file for this parameter value to be passed to the login.java file. Okay, right click, run as testng suit. Now you see the script will work fine, guys. Okay, the parameter will be passed to the uh, test method from the testng.xml file. You see, it will open the Chrome browser. Maximize the browser, it will open. You see, URL is passed here, otherwise, you will not get it. Okay, you see, test is passed, it's working fine. We are able to pass the parameter, parameter uh, name and value to the test method, and we can use them in this process. Okay, so this is what is the process, guys. I, you can also uh, create this parameter tags at the test level, also. Okay, this is at the scope is complete, all the tests under the suit tag in the testng.xml file can access this parameter, that's fine. But if you if you uh, write that uh, parameter tag in the testng.xml file at the test level, in that case, only the test methods which are part of that test tags can access this parameter. Okay, and this is the syntax, guys. Parameter name, whatever you have written in the te testng.xml file, or either under suit level or test level, that's fine. And at the rate test methods, you have to uh, be, uh, Above the editor test method, you have to create editor parameters and you have to provide the parameter name that you have created in the testng.xml file. And we have to create a parameter string you are in the test method, the method declaration. Okay. You can give a different name, no need to be same, and use a parameter in the test method, uh, which I already demonstrated. You can have multiple parameters also, guys. Uh, there may be a situation where you can pass multiple parameters to the test method. Okay. Username, password if you want to pass. Okay. So here, uh, let's say there is username valid username and valid password. This also I want to pass from the testng.xml file. In that case, what I will do here is, here I'll create few more parameters. Here only one parameter is there, I'll create multiple parameters. So here I'll say email, and here I'll say password. Okay, email password. And email value, I'll give it as valid email. Uh, that is nothing but this valid email, guys. I'll take this valid email. And provide. I, I am passing this email from email from the testng.xml file. Okay. So another parameter uh, password uh, that is nothing but one two three four five, right? I'll directly write one two three four five, and save this and go to the login.java guys. Here remove this uh, double quotes. It's not required. Here also remove this part. Now I need to pass email into this send keys and uh, password into this send keys. For that I need to receive the parameters. How to receive the parameters? Multiple parameters. You have to provide curly braces. Okay, if you have multiple parameters to be received, you have to provide curly braces. That means here only one parameter, no need of curly braces. Now you need multiple parameters. So here I gave the name of the parameter as email in the testng.xml file and other one is was password, password. Okay, password, the testng.xml file, I have to close with the closing curly brace. You see three parameters I am expecting and here only one parameter is there at the method level. Uh, I'll be giving string email address, okay, string, password, text, okay, password, text. Like this, I am giving two parameters. This email address, I'll provide in this send keys, and this password text, I'll provide in this send keys, okay? Now, if you have multiple parameters, this is what you have to do. And now, we are passing this multiple parameter values from the testng.xml file. So, you have to run using the testng.xml file. You should not run the login.java. It will not work, okay? If you want these parameter values to be passed to the login, a test method inside the login.java, you have to run the testng.xml file. Okay, if you directly run the login.java and you expect the results, these values will not be passed, you will get errors. Okay, so right click uh, on testng.xml file and say testng suit. You see, and uh, everything will work fine. Okay, the URL will be passed to the test method, the email address will be passed to the test method. You see, the password has got, got passed to and everything got passed. Okay, the test got passed. So this is all about the parameters in testng, guys. This is all about the parameters in testng and how to pass. Parameters are nothing but the values that you are passing from the testng.xml file to the test methods, okay? Either you can design, uh, create that parameter set at the suit level in testng.xml file or the test level, depending, and that decides the scope of the parameters, okay? In which test methods you can use, that, that will be decided. 
okay so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye